What's up, Panda Nation? Peter from Panda here. I just bought these. You can see here it's a solid wood lift furniture. It's a set of four. And I picked this up. These are furniture lifters. And um, the reason is I showed you my iLife uh, robotic vacuum cleaner, which I absolutely love. But one of my issues with it is that it's just barely clearing underneath the couch. And if you're sitting on the couch and kind of putting a little pressure on it and probably compressing the little rubber pads on the bottom of the legs, the vacuum cleaner kind of gets stuck, kind of wedges itself under the couch and can't get out sometimes or runs down the battery, whatever. And so really all I need is like this much more space to lift the couch up and it's gonna have plenty of clearance. So I was checking out furniture risers and there are a lot of them out there, but a lot of them start at two or three inches. I guess the reality is that if you're gonna lift your furniture, a lot of people need to do it kind of high. And I get that, you know, in the descriptions on these things, people raise furniture for all sorts of reasons. Mostly it seems like either uh, health, physical reasons, like you want your bed to be a little higher so you're not uh, falling into bed kind of a deal or make it easier to get out, just like chairs, or you're looking to add storage. But I'm gonna throw my reason in there. Or you need your robotic vacuum cleaner to have plenty of space to uh, roam around and get under there. So I got these because these were some of the the, um, the shallowest, the lowest uh, risers that I could find. And I kind of like the wood color. These are, um, you know, I'd call them like a uh, uh, a maple or something like that, kind of a hardwood. They have a little bit of a, I don't know, I actually call it a little bit of a light brown, almost a little darker than cardboard. For example, here's a piece of cardboard, right? It's a little darker than that. So, you know, it might not be the easiest thing in the world to see. I want to give you some dimensions here because not only are they just... Um, you know, these uh, slightly conical shaped wood pieces, but they are like varnished or glazed or something, so they're pretty shiny. And my issue with it is, and the worry about it, is a lot of the furniture risers have like a recess here, a cutout, so that the furniture leg sits in it but won't slide out of it. Obviously, if the furniture is sitting on top of this and you jump into your couch or jump into your bed or something and the furniture wants to slide a little bit, it might slide off here. So it does come with these 3M sticky pads it looks like yep sticky and those will fit on the top and so you can still put these on the floor and then have I guess your furniture uh, kind of stuck to the top of it so you know this will probably still move around if you don't have like a furniture or a rubber pad under it but at least the furniture won't slide around now let me give you some quick dimensions here because I never really trust the dimensions that are on descriptions but as you can see there Oh, let me uh, look at it from the top here just to make sure I'm looking at it right. You know, it's uh, two and three eighths of an inch at uh, the base in diameter. And at the top, I'm going to have a little trouble getting my tab on the right spot there. Uh, it's a little under one and three quarters inch at the top. And then top to bottom, we're actually looking at three quarters of an inch. So uh, definitely exactly three quarters of an inch that I was advertising top to bottom. Now let's put them under the couch and just see how they work. All right, so I got the furniture risers in. I will say that uh, I've got them here with the skinny end to the top, right underneath the uh, kind of foot of the couch here. Uh, the 3M double-sided tape is on the top there and I will tell you it's really sticky. You can actually put the uh, riser right against the foot and it'll hold there. And then in fact, I actually have a little uh, rubber pad underneath just to kind of keep it off the hardwood but uh, that's what it looks like and I want to just show you over here too I could have gone a little darker to match it a little bit better but obviously the 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 look is kind of going to be important I've got a big foot or leg on my couch and this is pretty small so it does look like it's hovering a little bit but it's all right actually when I sat down on the couch uh, you can tell maybe if you've used my couch a lot that it's a little higher you know I could tell that it was a little higher but I don't think it's at an uncomfortable height. And like I said, we're only raising it about a three quarters of an inch, actually maybe just a little bit more with that other pad. Now the key is underneath the couch here, can I get my robotic vacuum cleaner to, uh, to sweep under there? So let's try it. Well, there it goes. And as you can see, plenty of room. Like I said, it was just a close fit before, but now no problem going under there and sweeping around. Pretty clever, I like it. So whether you want to raise your furniture to get a robotic vacuum cleaner under there, or if you want to raise it to store materials or just make it more comfortable based on your furniture, I would check these out. They add just a little bit of height so you don't have to make them kind of grotesquely high. 
Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Monk panned out.